Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Whoopsie! <gasps> Today, it is show and tell at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Keep practicing, Peppa. You'll get the hang of it soon. Thank you, Susie. You make a wonderful starfish. <laughs> now it is Peppa's turn. <laughs> I am the amazing Mysterio. And I am the amazing Peppa O. <laughs> and we are going to show you some really <laughs> magical magic. <laughs> ah! Amazing Mr. O, please pass me my top hat. Um, you're wearing it, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> now I will pull a toy rabbit out of it. <laughs> the toy rabbit is still on Peppa's head. Abracadabra biddly bop. <gasps> Daddy. I can't find the toy rabbit. <gasps> oh, there it is. Ta-da! <laughs> Time for my next trick. Would you like some flowers, Madam Gazelle? I would love some, Peppa. For her next trick, Peppa is going to make some flowers appear. Abracadabra biddly boy. Abracadabra biddly boing! Ho, 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 ho. That does tickle. Why don't you try the magic ring trick, Peppa? I mean, amazing Peppa O. Good idea, Daddy. Uh, I mean, amazing Mysterio. Peppa is going to make the two rings join together with magic. Abracadabra biddly bob. It is quite hard to magically join the rings together <gasps> and a bit messy. I don't think I'm very good at magic, Daddy. Yes, you are. You're the amazing pepper o You can do it, Peppa. <laughs> OK, Daddy. <laughs> Abracadabra, biddly bang! Wow! Oh, what a marvellous magic show! Well done, Peppa. You are a true magician. Thank you. And for our last trick, we will disappear. Bye-bye. Peppa loves magic tricks. Everyone loves magic tricks. Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look! I can see it! Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. <laughs> camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. 
And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. Oh. <laughs> Cheese! Whoa. 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 <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. <laughs> Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade and Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. It is a very <gasps> hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh! What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Now, we add ice cream 
cherries and whipped cream. Ah. George ah. likes adding the ice cream. Careful, don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> Don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please, could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanory? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Um. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Mm. Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. And now you can decorate the top. Yay! Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. Now <laughs> everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow ah, one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana, nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla! My favourite! <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Hooray! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. The funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. 
I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Whee! It is bedtime. Whee! But George isn't sleeping. So neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until... One day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? It is morning, and Pepper is having some delicious breakfast. What's happened to the cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fools' Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. <laughs> Can we do one on Daddy? <laughs> That's a great idea. Daddy Pig is reading on the sofa, but Mummy Pig and Peppa have come to play a joke on him. Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. Peppa and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> That's strange. These glasses have made it even harder to see. April <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny, but you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. Hmm? Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That gave me a fright. <laughs> April, April Fools! 
<laughs> you got me again, Pepper. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fool's Day joke on Mummy Pig, Pepper? <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished mm. dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Pepper have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious. <laughs> 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 My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Pepper and Daddy are playing a joke on Mummy Pig. <gasps> this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> <laughs> what a clever joke. That reminds me. George brought some biscuits for you, Pepper. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. April Fools! Peppa loves April Fools' Day. Everyone loves April Fools' Day. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund. You can do it. It's really fun! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, oh, well done, Edmund. Yay! <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George... Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. 
like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first. And then... Take the red train. Yes. Well done, Pepper. Off we go. First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Pepper. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> The train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> I think I will have, hmm, that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. It's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink 
has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. <gasps> oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> oh dear. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho. Yes, all babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Yum. Oh. Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh. Spaghetti! <laughs> Pepper mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot, so kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Pepper. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. Righto, here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Pepper likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting. So I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too! I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> Try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Hmm. Oh. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh! Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! 
Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try, Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> What's this? Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you! <laughs> Oh dear, Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh, hi Peppa, <laughs> hi George. Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. <laughs> With a one and two and one, two, three, four. Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up <laughs> in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. Pretty cool, eh, Pepper? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying <laughs> some new shoes. 
Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes! <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to oh. go bowling. And he ah. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> those are tap dancing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> They're very noisy! George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George loves clown Whoa. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old <laughs> shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Whoa. Hmm. Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. OK, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, dear. The toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Dinosaur. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. <laughs> I'm not sure I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Pepper, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah. Sorry, Pepper. This toilet needs fixing. Go! Oh. They even try a toilet shop. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> oh dear, now 
I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! <laughs> For you. Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Mm. <laughs> 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 Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh! The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> it's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's mm. lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created mm -hmm. a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice <laughs> tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm! <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Well, this tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice, and Peppa really loves her delicious <laughs> rainbow juice. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the museum. Look, George, this dinosaur has a sister, and a mummy, and a daddy. It's a whole family of dinosaurs. <laughs> Peppa loves the museum, but it is now closed. Thanks for coming. See you soon. But I don't want to leave. We don't have to leave, Peppa. Tonight, we are having a sleepover at the museum. Ooh. Hooray! Oh. Oh. What shall we do first on our sleepover? Hmm. Let's have a midnight feast. Yum, yum. Dig in, everyone. Huh? Oh, this orange is rather hard. Oh. All the food in the midnight feast is made of plastic. Ho, 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 ho.
What shall we do next, Pepper? Huh? Pepper? Mummy Pig can't see where Pepper has gone. Here I am! <laughs> I am a Viking! <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Grrr. Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Uh, I mean a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Everyone is having lots of fun running away from the woolly mammoth. But all this chasing has made everyone quite tired. Oh, I think it's time for bed. Let's find a nice spot to go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, everyone. It is now morning and lots of visitors have come to the museum. These Vikings, Granddad! Moo! What a great mammoth! It looks so lifelike! Everyone thinks Peppa and her family are part of the museum. Uh, huh? What's going on? Uh. Uh. That's not a Viking! That's Peppa! Oh dear! It looks like we didn't just sleep over at the museum, but we overslept. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh, Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble <gasps> making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. <laughs> Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs>
Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> But not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Instead, Miss Rabbit. Certainly. Oh. <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. Oh. I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Peppa, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Mr. Bull, no running. Sorry again. Mr. Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh, oh. Have a splendid time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. <coughs> Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. 
There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <coughs> no splashing! Today, Pepper and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> And there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Pepper. Off we go. First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Pepper. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> The train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too! Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Yummy, tasty food! Yummy, tasty Today on the cruise, yum, Pepper yum. and her family are at a very special ah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Pepper? 
Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? <laughs> I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited ah. to eat her spaghetti. Ah. Finished. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Pepper is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped ah. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Pepper. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, 
So you're not a robber? Nope. Oh. Well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Pepper loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <laughs> Pepper and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm. Something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat. eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. What a beautiful pillow fort. Can we have something to eat, please? Of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. <laughs> this floor is green. So let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue. So let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! Let's get out of here. Um, which way did we come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <gasps> oh, I can fit through anything. <sighs> <gasps> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh! We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> <laughs> and soon they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children. Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. <laughs> ours can be blue. blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. <laughs> but Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> 
now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, mm. Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. I think we made too much lava. No, Candy, you made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. Hooray! Hello, I'm King Pepper. It's another day at Playgroup, and everyone is pretending Pepper is the king. I'm the king, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying being king of the Playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Mm. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now, everyone has to be loud. Now, quiet. <laughs> now, loud. Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Now George is the king. Hmm. sure. Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. 
I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho. Yes, all babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> That means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, <laughs> very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Ooh. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Pepper. I have a baby in my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more like foot tickles. Oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> No, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. 
Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> Baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Pepper most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Stop! Today, Peppa and her family are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> and another. <gasps> hmm. <Ooh. gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Um... Look, oh. a duck! Hello, duck! <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time. I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! Oh, oh. And much less slippery. Phew! Wow! Oh, good day! What's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying <laughs> making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. 
<laughs> and Danny, that's a marvelous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Pepper is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like <laughs> onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun, try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A star! Pepper loves the lovely star, and Pepper loves Arts and Crafts Day. Snap! Oh! Pepper is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Pepper would quite like to win a game. Play snakes and ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. Yeah. <gasps> oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> Yay! 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 My pink marble is winning. I know. Let's play Pack the Parrot. Ooh! I love Pack the Parrot. But my marble is winning. It's going to pop up. I can't look. I know. Let's play snap again. <laughs> <laughs> snap. Snakes and ladders. Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll 
help yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Bye. Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily, so I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. 
You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Pepper practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, okay. <gasps> of colourful fish. Yes, well done. And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! Oh, another apple. Oh. By the power of vegetables, I am here. One moment. Um, now I am here. Wow! It is I, the superest superhero ever, and I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes too. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Pepper is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. We're all puffed out. Why can't we run fast and be super strong? Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. My superheroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward! What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. <laughs> there, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Pepper loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. 
Mr Bull is a grown-up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey! How do you know that? I am a clever clonks. <laughs> Righto, then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Oh. <laughs> we are as high as the clouds. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. <sniffs> Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! <laughs> 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 Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Susie! Goodbye, Peppa! Oh! Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? Backwards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is backwards day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it! Try to catch me! <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh. Coming! <laughs> <gasps> I know! Let's play backwards in the park! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Peppa and Susie Sheep spend Backwards Day playing in the park. Backwards swinging feels the same as forwards. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might 
be over now. Peppa and Susie's <laughs> sheep enjoyed Backwards Day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> uh, almost got you. Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside. Because today, Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra ah. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! Ah. 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 I can't make the flower. I will help you. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados. And you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mmm, guacamole. Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really in... Peppa Pig Tales. Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. Oh, <laughs> bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called <laughs> pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Ooh. Thank you for helping the flowers, <laughs> little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives. Just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, 
So, you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes. This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> What happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars, like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for all the kind things they do. <laughs> Pepper is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> That's cold. But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. <laughs> Whee! Hello, Daddy. Pepper, you're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five <gasps> more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more minutes. Yeah! <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs. Yay! <laughs> You'll never get me, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! monster. <laughs> Quick, let's hide. Oh, dear. Let's hide here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> The snow monster has found them. Papa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> it's Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> I told you there's no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh. Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the world. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> wow! Oh my! Exciting! And that is acting! Ta da! Today, Pepper's playgroup are having an acting class, led by very famous actor Super Potato. No, please! You're much too kind. And now, children, it is your turn to try some acting. Ooh. Take a picture from this hat and then act out the feeling in the picture. Yip, yip. 
I'll go first. Freddy Fox has picked out sad as his feeling. So now he is pretending he is sad. Oh. He is acting. Oh. 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 Spectacular. Yep, yep. Now everyone try. Ah. Ah. Oh, woe is me. Are you all right, Super Potato? Of course. I am just acting. Everyone is very impressed with Freddy's acting. Who would like to go next? Can I go next, please? Peppa has picked out happy as her feeling. Now she must mm. act happy. <laughs> Why are you jumping, Peppa? Because jumping in muddy puddles makes me very happy. Brilliant! Let's all jump. Pretending to jump in muddy puddles makes everyone happy. <laughs> can I go next, please? Of course you can. Susie Sheep has picked out surprised as her feeling. Now she must act surprised. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh! Oh, did I do it wrong? You did it right, Susie. Yay! Wonderful acting. Susie Sheep's surprised acting was so good, it surprised everyone. Good show, children. You are all movie stars in the making. Yes, you all did such super acting. I was very... Oh! Surprised! Yes, your acting was amazing and definitely did not make me... Oh! Sad! That's right. This has been a super class. So now I feel super... Happy! Peppa loves learning about feelings almost as much as she loves jumping in puddles. <laughs>